Osama bin Javed joins us from over the phone from Baghdad. Osama, what's the latest we know about this blast that's been reported by the PMF? In the last few minutes, we've heard more details uh, from the Popular Mobilization Forces who alleged that it was essentially U.S. aircraft uh, which targeted the headquarters of the 7th River Brigade at the Khalsu military base. This is, as you mentioned, uh, between Baghdad and Babylon, so south of Baghdad, north of Babylon. Uh, the initial toll that the Popular Mobilization Force source is confirming to us is at least one person who has been wounded uh, from the brigade, which was stationed there. This is a, a heavy mechanical brigade, which includes tanks and armored personnel carriers. At the Khalsu camp, it is uh, the Popular Mobilization Forces at, in, uh, in whole, and then uh, some parts of this base also uh, host uh, forces belonging to other uh, members of this militia, including uh, the Badr Brigade. Uh, we've also heard from security forces which say that there are multiple casualties that they fear uh, because there's a large fire that is burning at the base and there are firefighters there trying to put it out. Uh, but there are also reports of other aircraft uh, flying in the area, uh, including uh, Baghdad and other uh, localities. Uh, around Baghdad. And Osama, obviously the timing here is very interesting. This coming just one night after um, Israel appears to have carried out that attack against Iran, at least that's according to U.S. officials. If you could just talk our viewers through the significance of the popular mobilization forces, how much sway they have in Iraq, um, when they were established and how they were incorporated into Iraq's security apparatus. Well, just let me walk you back through the last 24 hours. That uh, About 24 hours ago, we, we woke up again to these uh, news of explosions that were heard in Iraq and then later denied. Uh, there were uh, denials from the Iraqi security forces that there had been any bases or places which have been attacked in this alleged Israeli attack. But then there are some images of projectiles which have landed in parts of Iraq, uh, which some sources uh, claim that they were Israeli uh, missiles or rockets or part of fuselages of some missiles. But that just gives you a sense of, of tenter hooks that this country has been on ever since uh, that Iranian uh, retaliation for the Israeli attack in Syria. And then people have been waiting with abated breath and what's going to happen. Uh, so now there seems to be some sort of incident. We don't know exactly who is involved. Obviously, the popular mobilization forces pointing their fingers towards the United States. But again, we'll wait for confirmation from Iraqi security forces themselves. And as you mentioned, the popular mobilization forces have been key to defeating ISIL in the last decade or so, uh, where they were formulated and then later uh, emerged into the, the sphere of Iraqi security, where they uh, fall under the prime minister's office. Uh, and many of their fighters have joined the regular security forces as well. But this is a very powerful group, uh, which should not just yield uh, political power with uh, clear alignments to Iran, but also physical muscle, because it is uh, trained fighters, it has the equipment, and it has been crucial in the fight against ISIL. So it has battled hardened as well. And it's seen, uh, in, according to Iraqis and uh, Iraqi forces, a, a crucial part of the Iraqi security sphere. But many Western analysts and Western governments see it as part of Iran's growing influence inside Iraq and a problematic force. All right, that's Al Jazeera's Osama bin Javed uh, on the phone for us from Baghdad. Osama, we'll be getting back to you shortly for more details about this attack in Iraq.